The Minneapolis Police Department will soon be under the thumb of the federal government. Investigators found a pattern of racial bias, excessive force, and other constitutional violations, leading the Justice Department to order a consent decree to correct the issues. Minneapolis will be one of 17 cities with that legally enforceable agreement. It involves an independent monitor overseeing the progress. David Schumann spoke to a monitor working with the New Orleans Police Department for more insight on how the process works. Minneapolis should be bracing for a long-term relationship with its federally appointed monitors. Consent decrees bringing change to troubled police departments last years. David Douglas has monitored the cops in New Orleans for almost a decade now. What we're talking about is massive institutional reform. Generally, the departments under these consent decrees have been found to engage in years and years of unconstitutional practices. That is indeed what the Department of Justice said last week it found in Minneapolis. The consent decree will provide a pathway to lasting change in Minneapolis. The monitors in New Orleans are former prosecutors and government investigators, as well as former police chiefs and other experts. Generally, I think it's a pretty active process where you are both monitoring what the department is doing to implement um, the changes called for under the consent decree, but assisting them to do it. Douglas guesses the first couple of years will be more on the ground, hands on supervision. Monitors report to a judge who ultimately determines when the department reaches compliance and the decree can end. I've seen change happen. I, I fully believe that we are entering a new chapter in terms of how policing occurs in America. These consent decrees really make a difference to people. Um, who have been harmed by these practices. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO News. Complying with the consent decree will cost the city. It could be millions just to pay the monitors. Douglas's firm reportedly asked for a four-year contract worth around $8 million when it started working with New Orleans.